Ladies and gentlemen, Trump is seriously considering Carrie Lake as the vice presidential pick uh, or uh, for, for VP. Hit subscribe to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen, to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications. Go to hagoodman.com. Hit subscribe. The Patreon link is below and the super thanks is below also. This is an Axios article from March, but there's another article just from today and talks about how Carrie Lake, a leading denier now running for U.S. Senate in Arizona, um, there are no greater deniers of 2016, for example, than every single Democrat and every single pundit on MSNBC, CNN, The Washington Post, New York Times, Atlantic, uh, Rolling Stone, Vanity Fair, Esquire. There's all of these publications. It's a public relations monstrosity that denied Trump's victory in 2016. Okay? They all denied that he won fair and square. They all blamed the Kremlin. And they and they still do so to this day. Even former President Jimmy Carter did. And then they say, anyone who agrees with Trump about 2020 is a denier. So they use these euphemisms and these terms. They use words and semantics linked directly to their sensibilities and never turn these words against themselves. Never use the, the word denier when talking about blaming bots from another country on Twitter or accusing Trump of things he never did, being an operative of another country. Okay? he he. There was never any collusion ever with Russia. And that was a complete and utter hoax. But what took place, ladies and gentlemen, of course is that's not denying anything. That's a credible allegation. So when Democrats make allegations that are completely baseless, they then cite unnamed security officials or um, intel, intel agency documents or intelligence that can never be verified, but it's a hunch, and so they really had suspicion, and so therefore Trump must be guilty and investigated until they find something. Of course, when Trump had major concerns three years ago, there were no true investigations. Nobody was hauled off to Congress. Nobody had their lives upended. Nobody had to uh, testify before congressional committees or law enforcement agencies or intel agencies or any of that stuff. It, they were quick, very quick, and uh, in, uh, oftentimes haphazard Immediate investigations. Oh, everything's fine. And Trump is obviously making false claims. He said he did the same thing with Kerry Lake. But it'll be very interesting. I think that if you look at two, two things, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at how Kerry Lake did in Arizona, she really should have won. Now you could say, hey, you know what? She 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 really did, and it was taken. That you can't complain anymore. I like Carrie Lake, but you either have you have to engage in the same practices as your adversary or your political opponent, and adopt the same type of legal behavior. And so, the good thing. On the positive end is that she got very close. In fact, she was up for a little while. Um, and if you look, like, so she, this is actually a lot better than it looks because she had zero media support, Carrie Lake. Every single publication in Arizona, just like every single publication in normally red states, for example, like Georgia, major publications, lean left. And that's an issue that the Republican Party has to address, that President Trump has to address, Kerry Lake. Okay, you cannot, you cannot really be victorious if every publication and newspaper is against you, and every single night Jimmy Kimmel um, gives free advertising, does his best, every single, sells his soul to the Democratic Party, Jimmy Kimmel, Seth Meyers, Stephen Colbert. All they do is try to tear down Trump. I mean, imagine if the opposite were true and they tore down uh, and they tried to disparage Biden. Okay, you'd have Trump up 20, not up 2.1. So you have to understand 
Kerry Lake got very close. Trump right now is up over mashed potato brains by 2.1 points. It really doesn't matter who he picks. If he picks Kerry Lake, that would be a wonderful choice. Um, He has to pick somebody that bolsters the momentum that he has. He has momentum now, Trump. They're going to do everything possible to take his momentum away. I, I think that Hillary Clinton will be the eventual nominee, or if she if if Biden is the nominee, then somehow, some way, Hillary Clinton will be on um will be there in November of 24. It'll be Clinton versus Trump again. I really think that. I don't think that you I don't think that you create a cold war, literally create it out of thin air. For no reason. I'm not saying that Clinton did so herself. But there was a political machine. The Democratic Party is a political machine. They have loyalists, obviously in media, but also within the Department of Justice, within um, intel agencies. And these people have been, either been fired. It's well publicized that they were loyal to, maybe not directly to Clinton, but to that political ideology. See, the way Democrats and and media work is they say, oh, you can't prove anything. And then with Trump, they say in a phone call, he withheld military assistance. They got the military assistance. There was no direct evidence he withheld anything, and they still impeached him. Meanwhile, there's direct evidence of graft and bribery. They're not going and giving millions to Hunter for consulting. That's not happening because he doesn't know enough to consult on all these various different uh, topics. Oil, gas, um, you know, foreign affairs, foreign policy, business deals throughout the world. That's not his forte. Okay. That's never been what he's known for. Okay. The, the reason they're giving Hunter money is because of Joe. And even, okay, let's put it this way let's say Hunter Biden was very, very good at business, he was an excellent entrepreneur. That doesn't that doesn't circumvent the fact that people are giving money because of Joe being the vice president and president, especially if he's flying on air force two. So you have obvious craft. It's, it's bribery, kickbacks, pay to play schemes. Your, your government is being compromised in front of everyone's eyes. And still Trump is the menace. And then they, then they say, Oh my God, he's going to go after his political opponents. This is the big talking point now. He's going to go after, he's going to be an authoritarian. You couldn't find greater authoritarians than Democrats. Forcing people to take certain things, to ingest, let's just say, ingest certain things, or not ingest, I don't know, uh, to uh, consume in a variety of ways certain things, or they lose their job. Forcing a shutting down of the economy because some bureaucrat who knows pretty much nothing Zero about economics said it's a good good thing to do. Inflation through the roof, then raising interest rates. All of this chaos and mayhem. That country they cared about so much. I'm speaking in an algorithmically friendly manner. That country that they care about so much being invaded under their watch over a year ago. And it's like, it's just unbelievable. I mean, it's and then they're going after in every Democratic-run city, they're going after Trump. Under the stupidest, these, okay, Trump did not incite or compel anyone to commit any crime. That whole summer had billions of dollars in property damage, and no one's bringing it up. I mean, Trump is not even really bringing it up. He should. I mean, the thing is, it's like the the left or left of center get away with almost anything they want to. And then what happens with Trump is one terrible day that shouldn't have taken place, and it's, oh my God, he's trying to overthrow the planet. Trump is up. He needs to keep momentum. Kerry Lake could possibly keep momentum. He needs to pick somebody who keeps, who continues the momentum, the upward trajectory of the polls. Not somebody like um, uh, Pence, okay? Not a, there's zero olive branch to the never Trumpers. Okay, he should just go um, full Make America Great Again, and he's he's still up 2.1 points over mashed potato brains. 
So he keeps the momentum. Carrie Lake would be a good pick. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe.